Hi, Carlisle Indians, especially third graders. I miss you already. It's only day two, and I miss you already. I'm bored, too. Really bored. Mrs. Monroe and I are going to start making some videos for you guys. I'm going to read you a story. What do you do with a tale like this? It won a Caldecott Award. A Caldecott Award is for the pictures. So it's a good story, too, but it's got really good pictures. It won an award for it. The author for this book is Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. And this book is written in what's called a question and answer format. The author will ask you a question, and then on the next page, he'll answer the question. It's got really good pictures. Won an award for the pictures, so make sure you look at these pictures. And when you're done, you can take an AR test over it if it's between 8 and 4. The first page. What do you do with a tail like this? Animals use their noses, ears, tails, eyes, mouths, and feet in very different ways. See if you can guess which animal each part belongs to and how it is used. At the back of the book, you can find out more about these animals. So this page says, what do you do with a nose like this? Well, let's look at these noses. This is, wait a minute. I'm backwards here. All right. This, I suppose, is an alligator or a crocodile. That's got to be an elephant, right? This nose over here, that could be a dog or a bear. I don't know. This is a weird nose, right? Got to turn the page to find out what that is. I'm pretty sure I know what that one is. I think I know. Turn the page. Well, here you go. I was right on some of them, right? So, if you're a platypus, whoops, here. If you're a platypus, you use your nose to dig in the mud. If you're a hyena, you find your next meal with your nose. I was wrong. That wasn't a dog or a bear. If you're an elephant, you use your nose to give yourself a bath. If you're a mole, you use your nose to find your way underground. If you're an alligator, you breathe through your nose while hiding in the water. What do you do with ears like these? So it says ears. Take a look. So these, I keep doing it backwards here. These ears are upside down, so that's got to be a bat, right? And these ears, wrong way. These ears, that looks like a, what, a hippo or a rhino or something, right? This has to be some sort of a, a rabbit, a hare, jackrabbit. Now, remember, it says, what do you do with ears like these? Do you see an ear here? Do you see an ear here? You have to turn the page to find out what's going on. If you're a jackrabbit, you use your ears to keep cool. If you're a bat, you see with your ears. If you're a hippopotamus, you close your ears when you're underwater. That would be helpful because I get ear infections sometimes. If you're a cricket, you hear with ears that are on your knees. If you're a humpback whale, you hear sounds hundreds of miles away. What do you do with a tail like this? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's a scorpion, a giraffe. Pretty sure that one right there is a skunk. Now this one... That could be a lizard, a gecko, a chameleon, a, maybe even a snake. Not sure. This one, I want to say monkey, but then once I got to thinking about it and looking at it, like it could be a cat's tail for all I know. I'm not sure. We have to turn the page. If 
If you're a giraffe, you brush off pesky flies with your tail. If you're a skunk, you lift your tail to warn that a stinky spray is on the way. If you're a lizard, you break off your tail to get away. If you're a scorpion, your tail can give a nasty sting. If you're a monkey, you hang from a tree by your tail. What do you do with eyes like these? Okay, so we've got some sort of a lizard that has to be an eagle, right? This? Hmm. I'm not sure. Kind of looks like a frog face or something, but I'm not sure. This, I know, is something that lives in Australia, I'm pretty sure. That looks like it could be some sort of horned lizard or a horned toad. Let's see. If you're an eagle, you spot tiny animals from high in the air. If you're a chameleon, you look two ways at once. If you're a four-eyed fish, you look above and below the water at the same time. If you're a bush baby, you use your large eyes to see clearly at night. If you're a horned lizard, you squirt blood out of your eyes. What do you do with feet like these? Look at these. Hmm. That's got to be a goat or a sheep or something. That one kind of looks like a gorilla or something. Hmm. That one could be a frog or a lizard. That one to me kind of looks like a praying mantis. Don't know. Turn the page. Let's see. If you're a chimpanzee, you feed yourself with your feet. If you're a blue-footed booby, you do a dance. If you're a water strider, you walk on water. If you're a gecko, you use your sticky feet to walk on the ceiling. If you're a mountain goat, you leap from ledge to ledge. What do you do with a mouth like this? Okay, now that's gotta be some sort of fish, right? That's gotta be, whoop, doing it again. That's gotta be some sort of bug. That could be a turtle, could be a snake. I'm not sure. I think I know what this long mouth is. This one? has to be a bird's bill, right? A bill or a beak. If you're a pelican, you use your mouth as a net to scoop up fish. If you're an egg-eating snake, you use your mouth to swallow eggs larger than your head. If you're a mosquito, you use your mouth to suck blood. If you're an anteater, you capture termites with your long tongue. If you're an archer fish, you catch insects by shooting them down with a stream of water. And then there's pages with facts about all those animals we just read about. So if you really liked this book, you can get this book at the library or maybe your teacher and read all those little facts, but they won't be in the AR test. You don't need all these little facts to take the AR test. So if it's a school day, Monday through Friday, and it's between eight and four, you can take this test. Here's the number. Oops, my hand's in the way. Six, seven, seven, four, seven. Take this test so you can get these points. I miss you, Indians. Bye.